Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and today we're talking shortcuts, both shortcuts that you yourself might like or ones that might inspire you with similar ideas for your own setup, your own life, and your own system on your phone. Now shortcuts has been around for a while now, more than half a decade, uh, and it works on your iPhone, your iPad, and even your Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and get started with these. So there's many ways of activating shortcuts, whether through Siri or through widgets on your home screen or through the shortcuts app. But we're gonna go ahead and set up the double and triple tap feature here, which is probably the most convenient way to do your favorite shortcuts. So to do this, you navigate to settings, accessibility, touch, and back tap, and then you can choose double or triple tap. And with that on the back of your phone, you can activate these shortcuts and choose which ones you want to do. Of course, you will have to set this up with the shortcuts app beforehand uh, if you want a specific one. And to show you how this works, if we go into Spotify, we do the double tap to skip forward and the triple tap to skip back. So you can control your media without even looking at your phone or without saying anything just by tapping on the back. So that's the basic premise. Okay, so first we're going to show you a daily commute shortcut. So if you have a very similar routine each day, you can make your own daily commute shortcut. And with this, with a double tap or a Siri or any type of gesture, um, you can very easily start up your music, your navigation, your maps, wherever you want to go. Next is a document scan, which there are various ways of scanning documents on your phone. But oftentimes, if you just want to scan a receipt and make it as seamless as possible, you want to create a shortcut that'll pull that up allow you to take your scan and save right into your files app. Super easy, super convenient, especially if you're trying to have a better habit of scanning receipts, documents, taxes, anything like that. Next is one for assignments or homework. So this is a shortcut that has several options. First thing, it turns on the focus mode called school, which you can customize in the focus settings. And then it'll actually go to your reminders. And if there are any reminders that fit the parameters, um, such as homework, it'll let you know. If there are no assignments that you have due in the next couple of days, this will tell you no assignments due. If there are assignments due, it can go ahead and start playing music, for instance, if that's what you set it to, your study music or your classical music, as well as maybe pull up the portal for your school uh, website or anywhere else that you might need to log on for homework. So you can see you can combine several of these into one homework shortcut and toggle. Now you can combine this with automation instead of just a shortcut. So if you want to do that, when you turn on the focus mode, it'll automatically launch this shortcut. So you can do that as well. When you turn on school, it'll launch this shortcut. Next, if there's a website or YouTube channel that you watch often or want to check frequently, you can go ahead and make a shortcut to go straight into that. Logging water is a great and very practical shortcut for your health, and you can simply log how much water and get a really easy way to do this throughout the day without much effort at all. Next will be an automation for charging. Now with this, you go ahead and create it so that when your phone is plugged in, it will speak text. You can say phone is charging. This way you know if your phone is actually charging or not, because we all know that feeling recognizing of when we thought our phone was charging and it actually wasn't and we wake up to a dead phone. Next would be creating a shortcut to chat GPT that you can directly enter in your question or prompt with one click. Now you have to have the chat GPT app installed before you can activate this in your shortcuts app. Once you do, you can activate it from anywhere, including your home screen, or you can have an icon on your lock screen to get right into chat GPT. And next would be an automation for CarPlay. So with this, you can do a variety of things, uh, such as pulling up directions or starting music, or really whatever you want. But starting CarPlay is a really easy and practical way of using different shortcuts with your device if your car does support CarPlay. So anyway, those are some shortcuts and automations for your Apple devices. Let me know if any of these are useful for you or if you have any of your favorites and I'll leave these links down below. Thanks for watching.